Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel Moritech. So in today's video we are going to talk about a tech topic that has been gaining a lot of attentions in recent year that is our quantum computers. So stay in this video till end to learn more about the quantum computers. So let's start our video. So let's start with the basics. A quantum computer is a computer that uses quantum mechanics to process information. Unlike classical computers which uses bits to represent data as either 0 or 1. Quantum computers use quantum bits or quad bits. Quad bits can represent a 0 and 1 or a superposition of both. This means that a qubit can exist in multiple states simultaneously, which is the key feature that makes quantum computers so powerful. To understand how qubits works, let's take a famous thought example called strong ear cat. Imagine a cat in a closed box with a radioactive substance that has a 50% chance of decaying and releasing a deadly gas that could kill the cat. According to classical physics, until we open the box and observe the cat, the cat is both alive and dead at the same time. This is called superposition of a state. In quantum computing, qubits can exist in a similar superposition of states. Instead of a cat, imagine a qubit in a closed box. Until we measure the qubit, it can exist in both 0 and 1 states simultaneously. This means that a quantum computer with 3 qubits can perform calculations on 8 possible states at the same time. But how do we measure qubits? Well, that's where the another strange phenomena of quantum mechanics comes into play. That is entanglement. When two particles become entangled, their state become linked so that the state of one particle depends on the state of the other. This means that if we measure one entangled qubit, we can instantly know the state of the other entangled qubit, no matter how far apart they are. So, how can we use these properties of qubits and entanglement to perform computations? That's where the quantum algorithms comes in. These algorithms are designed to take advantage of these unique properties of qubits to solve the problem that classical computers can't solve efficiently. One example of such an algorithm is Schwarz algorithm, which can factor large numbers into their prime factors exponentially, faster than any known classical algorithm. This could have significant implications for cryptography as many encryption algorithms rely on the fact that factoring large numbers is computationally difficult. So, why the quantum computers such a big deal? Well, because of their ability to process information so quickly. They have the potential to revolutionize a number of industries. For example, com quantum computers could be used to simulate complex chemical reactions, helping us develop new medicines and materials. They could also help us solve complex optimization problems, such as routing and scheduling, which could be a huge benefit in logistics and transportation. But as with any new technology, there are challenges that comes with quantum computing. One of the biggest challenges is that quantum computers are incredibly sensitive to their environment. And even the slightest interface at change can cause error in the calculation. Additionally, quantum computers require extremely specialized equipments to maintain the stable environment necessary for their operations, make them expensive and difficult to scale. Another challenge is scaling up quantum computers to perform computation on a large number of qubits. Currently, the largest quantum computers have around 50 to 100 qubits, which is not enough to help perform classical computers for most tasks. To achieve what known as quantum supremacy, we will need to build a quantum computers with thousands or even millions of qubits. Recently, IBM announced as they will launch a quantum or universal quantum computers of approx 1000 qubits in 2023 this year. And up to 2025, they are able to perform or make a quantum computers of approx 4000 qubits. So there you have it, a brief overview of quantum computers and why they are such an important development in the world of technology. While there are certainly challenges to overcome, there is no denying that the potential impact of quantum computers on a number of industries. We can't wait to see what the future holds for quantum computers. Now let's talk about some applications of quantum computer. Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize many fields including cryptography, chemistry and artificial intelligence. Let's take a look 
at some of the potential applications of quantum computing. Cryptography Quantum computers can break many of the cryptographic algorithms that are currently used to secure information. However, they can also be used to create new cryptographic algorithms that are more secure than the current ones. Chemistry Quantum computers can simulate the behavior of molecule which is important for drug discovery and material science. This could lead to the development of new drugs and materials much faster than what is currently possible. Artificial Intelligence Quantum computers can be used to train machine learning models much faster than the classical computers. This could lead to the development of more advanced AI systems. We hope you found this video informative and learned something new about quantum computings. If you have any question or query, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel for such amazing videos.